Hello everyone, this is Grace here. In this video, we'll be discussing operating costing problems, problem 4.9. A transport co company operates two trucks. The following is the data regarding the monthly cost of operating them. Driver salary for truck AB, cleaner's wages for AB, petrol is given, mobile oil, carriage rent, taxes and insurance, depreciation, expenses of supervision, repairs, overheads. Two trucks carried 150 tons of goods each during the month of November 2005. The distance is covered 3,500 kilometers and 5,000 kilometers respectively. Prepare an operating cost sheet for November from the above data. So they have given us the expenses and they have asked us to prepare the cost sheet for the month of November. Two trucks carried 150 tons of goods each during the uh, during the month of November. So they have, uh, they have stated 150 tons was carried by the two trucks in the month of November. And they have asked us to prepare the cost sheet for the month of November by giving the expenses for the two trucks. So let us prepare the cost sheet. So now while preparing the cost sheet, solution operating cost sheet so we need to categorize it as fixed with fixed charges and variable charges so before calculating our fixed charges and variable charges we have a working note so we need to calculate ton kilometers here, here they are given information about tons in the problem that is 150 tons was carried by both truck a and b for the month of november and the kilometers is also given so we need to calculate ton kilometer so calculation of ton kilometer in November, November. So usually we will take 30 days for all the months while calculating in operating cost sheet. So distance per day and ton per day will be calculated. First, let us calculate the distances, which is uh, for the uh, calculating distances per day. We need to find out the total kilometers divided by number of days so the number of days what we have calculated here or which is given in the question or if it is not given also we need to take 30 days if it is given in the question based on those days you can calculate the distance per day so for one day what is the distance we are supposed to find out they have given us the total kilometers in the question so in the question the total kilometers what is mentioned is 3500 kilometers and b 5000 kilometers so 3500 for a for b it is 5000 so 3500 divided by 30 and 5000 divided by 30 so 3500 divided by 30 days which will give you 116.66 uh, where you can consider it as 116.667 days and uh, with uh, 5000 that is truck B 5000 kilometers divided by 30 days which will give you 166.66 so that is the distance that is the kilometers which has been traveled by truck A and B for one day next we will calculate tons per day that is how many tons are being carried so what is the total tons which you have carried in the question they have stated the total tons which is carried in the question is 150 tons. So where is it being stated in the problem? 150 tons. So as the carried tons are 150 tons, 150 divided by how many days? 30 days, which will give you 5 tons. So 150 divided by 5, which will give you 30, I'm sorry, 150 tons divided by 30 days which will give you 5 tons so this 150 tons is both for a and b so both the ton tons will be equal for both that is 5 and 5 so why we have calculated tons per day and distance per day is to find out distance tons per kilometer that is we need to find out calculation of ton kilometer so both two variables are included here so ton kilometer to find out distance into tons into number of days. So for truck K distance we have found out we can directly take uh, the answer what we have got for this 3500 divided by 30 or you can you can write it as well like this 3500 divided by 30 into 5 that is 5 is the tons as you have calculated for one day it is 5 then into number of days for November they have given 30 days into 30 which will give you 17500 ton kilometer next for B the total tons is 
5000 km divided by 30 days to find out one day how much is the uh, kilometers that is the distance into tons which has been carried how many tons are being carried for one day five days so how many days 30 days so into 30 which will give you 25000 ton kilometer now we will we have found out the total kilometer ton kilometers we have found out that is 17500 ton kilometer for a truck a and for truck b it is 25000 ton kilometer now we'll classify the expenses under fixed and uh, fixed and variable so now when we get into the question which is fixed and which is variable will be explained driver's salary is fixed cleaner's wages is also fixed then then we have other items petrol variable mobile oil variable garage rent fix taxes and insurance fixed depreciation variable expenses of supervision it is fixed then we have repairs then we have in the question Expenses for supervision fixed, repairs variable, overheads fixed. So now we will be classifying these items in your cost sheet what you are going to prepare. So driver's salary 250. So for truck A it is 250. Then cleaner's wages is 150 and for truck B it is 160. So 150 here and 160 towards the truck B side. Then we have garage rent which is 25 for truck a for b it is 30 so 25 and 30. next sorry the garage rent is 125 and 125 for both so garage rent is 125 and 125 for, for both next we have taxes taxes and insurance which is 50 and 50 for both so 50 and 50 then we have supervision expenses on supervision which is 100 and 100 so we'll be taking 100 and 100 for both next we have overheads which is 40 and 40 which is taken as 40 and 40 so the total fixed as charges for truck A is 715 and for truck B it is 750. So now we will add up, we will find out your variable expenses. So after finding your variable charges, we will add up both fixed and variable. Then we will find out the total cost. So next is your variable which is petrol 300 and 350, mobile oil which is 25 and 30. We will be taking petrol and mobile oil 300 1 350 and mobile oil 25 and 30 next we have depreciation which is 560 and 620 so depreciation 560 and 620 then we have repairs repairs which is 120 and 140 120 and 140 in total of variable charges we will be getting 1105 for truck a and for truck b we will be getting 1140 so the total uh, expenses that is the total cost for a and for b is 1720 and 1890 is the total cost for truck b so now we have got the total cost we need to find out the cost per ton kilometer for the month of november so we have ton kilometers value and we have got the cost for each truck so cost divided by total ton kilometers for truck a will give you the two for the cost for each uh, for each item so 1720 is the total cost divided by truck a ton kilometers which is 17500 will give you 0 0.098 for b 1890 divided by 25000 which will give you 0 0.076 so this is the end of this problem next problem what we are going to discuss is problem number 4.10 a person owns a bus which runs between delhi and chandigarh and back for 10 days in a month the distance from delhi to chandigarh is 240 kilometers the bus completes the trip from delhi to chandigarh and back is the same back in the same day the bus goes 
another 10 days in a month to Agra and the distance covered being 200 kilometers. The trip is also completed in the same day. For the rest of four days, it runs in the local city. Daily distance covered in a local city is 60 kilometers. Calculate the rate the person should charge from passenger when he wants to earn a profit of 33.5% on his takings. The other particulars are given below. Cost of bus 2 lakh, depreciation 20% per annum, salary of driver rupees 1600 per month, salary of conductor 1500 per month, salary of part time accountant rupees 400 per month, then insurance rupees 2000 per annum, diesel consumption. 6 km per liter per liter cost which is rupees 4 per kilo, per liter token taken rupees 600 per annum repairs rupees 1000 per month normal capacity 50 passengers the bus generally occupied 90% of the capacity when it goes to chandigarh and 80% when it goes to agra it's always uh, always full when it runs within the city so this is the question So in this problem, they have given us information regarding passengers and kilometers. So we will be calculating passengers kilometers. So whenever they, they have given us two parameters, we will be taking the two parameters. So what are the two parameters in this problem is passenger as well as kilometer. So our first calculation will be calculation of passenger kilometer. So as for the question what they have given. A person owns a bus which runs between Delhi and Chandigarh and back for 10 days in a month so he travels from delhi to chandigarh and he returns back for 10 days in a month next it states the distance from delhi to chandigarh is 250 so the number of days is 10 distance is 2 i'm sorry 240 kilometers the bus completes the trip from delhi to chandigarh and bank in, band back in the same day the bus goes another 10 days in a month to agra then from uh, it goes again to agra and the distance covered is uh, 200 again number of days is 10 and 200 kilometers is covered to go to Agra That is from Delhi to Agra the trip is also completed in the same day for the rest of four days It runs in the local city then the remaining four days it runs uh, it runs in the local city daily distance covered in, in the local city is 60 kilometers so we uh, they have given us the kilometers and number of days they have asked us to calculate exactly calculate the rate the person should charge from passenger when he wants to earn a profit of 33 1 by 3 percent so might be you uh, you travel by bus the trap the bus try conductor charges and ticket for you how is that ticket being charged individually that is what you're going to calculate in this problem or that is what they have asked so they have asked to calculate the rate person should charge from passenger when he wants to earn a profit so if you are a owner how much are you going to charge to the passenger for adding on to the profit of 33 1 by 3 percentage on his takings so now we have number of days and number of kilometers then we will need to get the passenger details that is given in the question we will first calculate uh, calculate passenger kilometers so next they have given bus generally occupied 90% of capacity. So what is the capacity they have given in the question? Normal capacity is how much? 50 passengers. So out of 50 passengers, the generally bus generally occupied 90% of capacity when it is going from uh, from Agra from Delhi to Chandigarh and 80% when it goes to Agra. So from Delhi to Agra when it goes to Agra, it capacity is 80%. Then it has always been full when it runs within the city. So it is 100 when 100 passengers get into the vehicle truck when it is within the city. I'm sorry, it is not a truck, it is a bus. So now let us calculate the passenger kilometer. So passenger kilometer to calculate, we require number of days. If number of buses are given, we will take that also. Number of days, number of uh, uh, what? Number of days, number of passengers, distance, capacity, and normal capacity. 
So now first, passengers kilometers are calculated as under Delhi to Chandigarh. How many passenger? Normal 50 passenger. So what is the uh, next? Uh, what is the capacity for those passenger? 90 percent from Delhi to Chandigarh. Okay, 90 percent into how many days is from Delhi to Chandigarh? 10 days in a month. Then how many kilometers? 240 kilometers. So. So we have taken 50 passengers, 90% capacity, 10 days and kilometers as per the question is 240 kilometers, the distance from Delhi to Chandigarh. So this is only the kilometers which has been taken to move from Delhi to Chandigarh. While returning back also it will take the same kilometers. So 240 while going to Chandigarh and again they are returning back as it is stated here. The person owns a bus which runs between Delhi and Chandigarh and back again. So when it is returning back again 240. So the total will be 240 plus 240 will give you 480. So we will multiply the passengers and the distance kilometer number of days in the kilometers will give you total passenger kilometer which will give you 2,16,000 passenger kilometer. Next is from Delhi to Agra. The bus completes the trip from Delhi to Chandigarh and back in the same day. The bus goes another 10 days in a month to Agra and the distance covered being uh, 200 kilometers. The trip is completed in the same day. So 200 kilometers, 10 days. So Delhi to Agra, 50 passengers, which is a normal capacity. The capacity, percentage capacity is when it goes to Chandigarh, and 80% when it goes to Agra. So 50% 50 into 80% is the capacity into number of days 10 days and the kilometer is 200 kilometers for going to Agra. As it is completing on the same day it needs to return back. So from Delhi to Agra while going it is 200 plus coming back it is 200 which will give you 400 kilometers. So the total kilometers is 1,60,000 passenger kilometers. Then we have the calculation to local city. So to calculate to the local city, what they have stated, the trip is also completed in the same day. For the rest of for the rest of four days, it runs on the local city. Daily distance covered in the local city is 60 kilometers. So in the local city, 60 kilometers. So normal capacity, we will take passenger, 50 passenger into uh, as when it goes to Agra, it takes 80. It is always full when it runs within the city. So now we are calculating for local city. So it is always full, which is 100%. So into 100%, number of days is 4 as per the question. Into kilometer, what is given in the question is 60 kilometers. So here, it runs in the local city. Daily distance covered in the local city is 60 kilometers. So it is running. It is not from one destination to the other. It is in the local city. So the daily distance which is covered in the kilometer which is he spending on is 60 kilometers. So here it is not going from the starting point to ending with the destination point. So we will be taking 60 kilometers directly which will give you 12,000 kilometers. So your total passenger kilometer will be 2,16,000 that is Delhi to Chandigarh plus Delhi to Agra 1,60,000 plus 12,000 from local city which will give you 3,88,000 uh, passenger kilometer. So this is your total passenger kilometer. So you need to calculate the passenger kilometer uh, the only kilometers that is total kilometers traveled in a month. So to calculate that, your total pa total uh, kilometers traveled in a month is calculated here. You can either calculate total passenger kilometers together or you can first calculate total kilometers traveled first and then you can multiply with the passengers. So total kilometers traveled in a month Delhi to Chandigarh, both the ways 240 it is one way. So two ways 240 two, I'm sorry 480 kilometers into 10, way, 10 days which will give you 4800 kilometers. The same way Delhi to Agra 400 kilometers into 10 days which will give you 4000. And for local 60 kilometers into 4 days will give, which will give you 240 kilometers. So this is if you multiply your number of passengers 
your capacity you will be getting your total passenger kilometers you can either put everything together and find out the total passenger kilometers or first find out the kilometers then you can multiply with the passengers so any of is same so now we have found out the total kilometers so our question the main motto for solving this problem is what they have asked in the question is to solve that so what is actually asked they have asked us calculate the rate the person should charge from the passenger if you are the owner how much are you going to charge your passenger with the if you are earning a profit of 33 1 by 3 percentage on his takings so how much you're going to earn so here we finish with the passenger kilometers calculation so now we will calculate the operating cost sheet for the month so we have standing charges, variable cost, and we'll have the total cost. So when it comes to standing charges, as I've explained, is your fixed expenses. So depreciation is variable, but here it is 20% per annum it is given. So as it is per annum, we will be converting it to month because major of the expenses are in month. So salary of drivers is fixed, salary of conductor is fixed, salary of part-time accountant is fixed. Next, we have insurance, which is fixed. Diesel and consumption is uh, variable. Token tax fixed. Repairs is variable. Normal capacity is the capacity of your passengers. So let us classify it in your cost sheet. So now classification of cost sheet. First, we will take our salary of drivers, 1,600. Salary of conductor, 1,500. Salary of part time part-time accountant 400 so salary of driver 1600 salary of conductor 1500 salary of part-time accountant 400 next we have insurance which is 2000 per annum so how many year how many months divided by 12 so divide 2000 divided by 12 which will be 167 for one month then we have token tax token tax is also rupees 600 per month per annum so divided by 12 which will give you 50 so your total fixed expenses is 3717 with this we'll add up your variable expenses your variable expenses are your depreciation depreciation is given which is 20 percent per annum on the value of the asset so 22 lakh into 20 percent which will give you 2 lakh into 20 percent which will give you 40,000 so 40,000 40,000 is for per annum so you will divide it by 12 to find out the depreciation for a uh, for a month so 40,000 divided by 12 which will give you 33 3333 next we have our depreciation which is mentioned in the question so depreciation here is rupees 400 per liter i'm sorry the next you uh, after uh, depreciation we have repairs and maintenance repairs and maintenance is rupees 600 I'm sorry repairs and maintenance is rupees 1000 per month which we have taken it here next we have diesel consumption is 6 kilometer per liter costing which is rupees 4 per liter so per, for uh, it is rupees 4 per liter and uh, so total kilometers what we have found out as diesel is rupees 4 per liter which is mentioned here 6 kilometers per liter so for traveling 6 kilometers diesel required is uh, 1 liter that 1 liter is rupees 4 so uh, diesel charges is based on kilometers so this pass this vehicle which is taking passengers the total kilometers what we have calculated is 9040 then for 6000 kilometers if it is rupees 4 that is i'm sorry for 6 kilometers if it is 4 rupees that is to travel 6 kilometers it take, it needs 1 liter of diesel to fill that 1 diesel a liter of diesel he, he wants rupees 4 then to fill 9040 kilometers how much diesel he require so 6000 into we have cross multiplication here so here everything is cross multiplication so we have for 6 kilometers if it is rupees 4 per liter then for 9040 kilometers how much is it so 6000 which gives you 4 for 9040 it is question mark so 9040 into 4 divided by 6 that is cross multiplication as you all know already how cross multiplication 
shows in the same way we will cross multiply when we cross multiply we will be getting 9040 kilometers into 4 divided by 6 which will give you 6027 so this is your total variable expenses so 3717 plus 10360 of your variable expense which will give you 14077 so this this is your total cost per month so now they have asked us to calculate what will be the cost which you're charging to the passenger if you are earning 33.1 by 3 profit. So our total cost what we have got is 14,077. So now when this total cost which is 14,077, we will, uh, this is the total cost per month. So we will calculate it total cost per passenger kilometer. So total passenger kilometer where you have already calculated here, which is uh, 3,88,000 kilometers. So 14,077 divided by 3,88,000 which will give you 0 0.0363. So now we will, uh, as per the question what is given here, which is stated here, which states that total passenger kilometer is uh, 3,88,000 and here on the adjustment states, calculate the rate the person should charge for the passenger when he wants to earn profit of 33.1 by 3 percentage on his takings. So if he wants to earn 33 1 by 3 that is nothing nothing but 33.33 percentage on his takings takings here is nothing but the selling price nothing but your uh, the selling price on the selling price if he wants to earn 33 1 by 3 percentage what will uh, profit what will be your uh, total uh, cost which you are charging or the price which you are charging for your customer so now so the total cost as we have got 0 0.0363 on that profit is on that we are going to find out how much is your profit. So calculation to do the profit is so profit 33 1 by 3 which is nothing but which will give you 33.33 percentage on takings. So takings is nothing but your, your selling price. Assume sales to be 100%. So the formula will be cost plus profit is equal to selling price. So selling price is 100%. Profit will be 33.33%. So what will be the cost? 100 minus 33.33% which will give you 66.67 percentage. Then which will give you 66.67 percentage as your cost percentage so now we will do your cross multiplication for 66.67 that is your cost the uh, cost price is 0 0.036363 as per the question which is shown here 0 0.363 then if for profit percentage 33.33 percent what is the what is the amount so you will cross multiply so when we cross multiply 33 0.33 percentage into 0 0.036 uh, 363 divided by 66.67 which will give you 0 0.0181 so this is your profit so we will take this into your column so profit which is 0 0.0181 so cost 0 0.0363 plus 0 0.0181 which will give you your selling price that is nothing but your takings which is 0 0.05444 that is your rate per passenger kilometer so as you are the owner of the particular travel agency you will charge for one customer 0 0.0544 in the question they have clearly asked you the person should uh, calculate the rate the person should charge for a passenger when he wants to earn profit of 33.1 by 3 percentage on his takings. So now this is the rate we are going to charge. So you have passengers Delhi to Chandigarh. So to 40 kilometers is traveling at rupees 0.0544. He will be charged rupees 13.06 for 240 kilometers. From Delhi to Agra 200 kilometers at rupees 0.0544 which will give you rupees 10.88. So this is the cost price which you are charging for the passenger to travel from Delhi to Chandigarh and from Chand Delhi to Agra.